In Iraq, a legislator has called on the country's authorities to hold the U.S. accountable for the killing of a 15-year-old girl allegedly hit by a stray bullet fired by an American soldier. He says the silence on the issue is disrespectful and that the nearby weapons range should be shut down. After the teenage girl was killed by a bullet fired during U.S. military exercises near their base outside of Baghdad, the U.S. Embassy has not bothered to issue any official apology for the unjust incident. The death, which occurred as a result of the use of live rounds during military drills near residential neighborhoods, exhibits an outrageous disregard for the Iraqi blood and a blatant disrespect for the country's sovereignty. The incident occurred earlier this week on a farm situated near the Baghdad International Airport where American military forces regularly conduct drills. Family and friends are convinced that U.S. soldiers are to blame for the tragedy. There are no houses in the vicinity of the shooting range and there is no enmity between her family and anyone in the area. Only army soldiers are stationed outside Baghdad's airport fence. She got shot while harvesting vegetables in order to sell them on the market to secure her livelihood and that of her parents. All they wanted to do was to live in Iraq peacefully, but that was in vain. There's a shooting range in the middle of our village. We appealed dozens of times about it, as this place is a populated area with residents, farmers and their livestock. However, we got no responses from the authorities, except for calls to leave the area if we don't like it. We endured a lot because of the intensity of the shooting, which kept us locked in our homes. Recently, I lost my brother, who's left seven children orphaned, and now I've lost my granddaughter. The case brings up the double standards in the Western media, which, in contrast to the coverage of the recent killing in neighboring Iran, have ignored the death of the teenager in Iraq. Co-director of the International Action Center, Sarah Flounders, says that the location of the incident makes it even more significant. This is unending. It's outrageous. Uh, and this latest killing of a young 15-year-old student uh, working in her father's field is just the latest absolute outrage. Uh, most outrageous is that it took place in Abu Ghraib. Now, that is the site of the notorious torture prison that the U.S. ran, a huge U.S. base and a giant prison camp for Iraqi prisoners that uh, people around the world saw those horrendous pictures of what happened in that prison. The fact that they didn't close it down, that that base continues, and they continue with live fire range, it's really past time for the U.S. to get out of Iraq. The U.S. military has been stationed in Iraq since 2003, when America invaded under the pretext of combating terrorism. Recently, the country's prime minister addressed the U.N., urging the states to stop using Iraq as a site to combat terror. I reiterate Iraq's calls for its territories not to be used under the pretext of combating terrorism or protecting the national security of other countries in a manner that endangers our security and stability. Iraq stresses the need to respect the principles enshrined in the United Nations Charter and the rules of international law and international relations the respect for the sovereignty of states. U.S. has been forced out of countries that they were occupying by a very powerful people's movements. Uh, but will they leave on their own? Will they leave because of a resolution? I don't think so. Uh, and their determination to stay in Iraq, in Syria, uh, to threaten the whole region years after every demand that they leave, they're not claiming they're not fighting terrorism. They are a terrorist force. And they're completely unaccountable for the crimes that they commit. And the crimes that they've committed for years, there's still 2,500 U.S. troops, tens of thousands of U.S. military contractors who operate in a completely lawless way. And, and yet this is after every demand uh, by the Iraqis that the U.S. lead. So uh, I think the demand should be raised for accountability. Will the U.S. respond? They don't respond with accountability anywhere in the world for their crimes.